And we're back. Let's hey get, the get back into investigate. Oh my god, can we rub the lamp? Uh, Damn it. Rude not to at this point. Oh. It's not giving me any pop up. That makes me sad. All right, let's talk to Buffkin. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Hmm. Did you see anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Mm, it's really not his fault. It, He's just a tiny monkey. I mean, he, how... Look, what's he uh, gonna do? The whole mirror thing. It's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Okay. We're good. We want to stay positive with bu Buffkin. I'll just <laughs> see if I can do anything I never about think this. You do that. Everything's pointing to Crane um, in a major way. You know, he's got the the link to the fake glamours. He's got the incriminating photo. Immediately after seeing that we discovered it, he smashed the mirror and took a piece of it. So, yeah, it's not looking good for him right now. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. And he has the key. You still haven't told me <laughs> what was in there. I want to know. Uh, I need to know. Crane was uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Even if we get him, it's not going to reverse the damage that he's done, so I can understand why she'd still be pissed. Mm hmm. Any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions could do with some improvement. I'm Seeing some unrest in the residents. Uh, Wayland Smith. Hmm. Sounds like a fake name. Wayland Smith. I don't remember where I've heard that before. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane. Please. Yeah, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix air conditioning in our unit. Burning up in the apartment, and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know what it means, but I assume it's something gross. And I really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a pan in the meantime. So see you, little boy blue. That's amazing. I like that one. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Do you want to read this one? Oh, God, yes. I want to read this one. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention, you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together. Mr. Toad. Nailed it. Ever do any work? <laughs> Only when Cole was around. <laughs> I'm I'm really bad with angry British accents. No, you nailed it. It's cool. Oh, okay, good. Oh. <laughs> There's Snow's dirt face again. <laughs> He's just gonna like <laughs> her her. <laughs> There's a page Ooh. here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? The ring of... Buffkin, do you know what was here? Sauron? It's a ring, at least. <laughs> Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? 
Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> they set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, No, so... chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Okay. Find the witch. I think we've got so three alone, options. We leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. 
No, no, I'm better off dealing well, with things alone. I'm not sure whether or not Bluebird's a red herring, because they're throwing some some kind of suspicion on him right now. But I actually think he's all right. I think, but he is a potential. Either way, I think Crane's apartment would be the safest. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what I did. I went to Holly's bar first last time, uh, and then I went to Crane's apartment, and then I went to Dee's office. So let's switch it up, and I'll go to Crane's apartment first, then Holly's, and then Dee's office. Because Dee's office uh, is kind of like... Bluebeard had a point where they probably wouldn't be there anymore, so I'm going to just leave it for last. I don't think it's that critical. And we'll go to Crane's apartment first. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Okay. Okay, entering new territory here. I'm not sure what to expect from this. Let's see what we got. This is Briar Rose's place. Mm, Briar Rose. Why Who's is the door this? open? Mm, that's Crane's room. Whose room is this? Oh, and it's open. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. K Thrushbeard. Just, I was just curious as to what these other names were. I'm gonna and go can ahead and... beards get frosh? I don't know. Crane? One hour and 55 minutes left. Tick tock, tick tock. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Alright. Yeah, this looks pretty different compared to last time. I'll uh, I'll elaborate on uh, on some other things when we get done investigating. Okay. Sure. Let's see. Um. Math, science, history. I had to guess. This Ooh. shit didn't work. <laughs> He's got a lot of books on Karma Sutra and the joy of lovemaking. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Okay. That joy of lovemaking used to be like a bestseller. It's ridiculous how well it sold. Same brand we found in the open arms. All right. Um, let's check the... Okay. And I don't know if you've ever seen the joy of lovemaking book. I have seen it. I and have. the guy in it looks just like my dad. It's really fucking wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, answering machine. Heck yeah, let's check some messages. Crane. Look, the crooked man isn't happy, compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. Alright? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! Ooh. You didn't see that. That message was from a mysterious lady who said that Crane owed the crooked man some money. This hasn't been used in years. Merry Christmas, Mr. Crane. Thanks for all the help I this forgot. year. He used to teach in the old days. Oh. Kind of wish they'd subtitled that, actually. The answering machine thing was kind of important. All uh, right, notes. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. <gasps> Watching you work, if I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> well. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? 
Money, money, money. Money. <laughs> oh, useful. Might be useful. Mysterious key was added to our inventory, as well as some cash. Cash always being good. And now he can't pay his debt. Okay. That's a statue. Well, he couldn't pay his debt anyway. There wasn't enough money to pay it. Alright. Is there anything we haven't checked in this entire apartment yet? Oh, we can look over here. Is really? that hiding a secret room? Doesn't look like it. You use the key on the bedroom door? Mmm. That is one room I wouldn't want to look in most times. Going Ooh. somewhere? <gasps> what? I, uh, space jack. Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Don't play dumb. I'm running very low on patience tonight. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! And you don't leave by the window. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Whew, I almost missed that. You got me. Just take I did it easy. wonder. Don't make a big deal out of this. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills based. to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any <laughs> no, of this stuff. Was. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <clears throat> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murderers should be your top priority? Crane's definitely involved in all of this. I just need to track him down. Then I'll know more. Involved? How do you mean? That's all I'm gonna tell you. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. <coughs> Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on, I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm yeah, sure you convenient. already knew that. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. I'm gonna deal Fine. it. You got a deal. Perfect. I mean, if he's... Now tell me where I can find this witch. Yeah, if he's just here to just steal Strong shit, grip. then I don't really care. Auntie Greenlick. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, 
Uh, the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Hmm. <laughs> right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Ah. <sighs> It was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a Does. second. Oh, come on. Oh, good. Okay. I was hoping that it would let me at least check the bag. Um. Awesome. Oh, look. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Ooh. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked it man's places. Else. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You nervous about something? What do you mean? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't steal anything else. Come on, Jack. That it? Pick me? Are you still here? I'm done here. Fine by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? <laughs> you think this is tied to the murders? <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm. Maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Um, Trip Trap or D and Dumb's office? Probably the Trip Trap, although that's three potential glamours around by the fact that he's holding on to them now. Mm. Like fake glamours. I think we should go to the Trip Trap because I feel like if we go there last, uh, Holly will burn all that crap. And I'll, that won't be good. So, um. Yeah. But yeah, Bluebeard definitely. went to D and Dumb's office. So it's kind of like. Ah. Uh, we might not be able to get information from one if we don't go to the. If, if we go to the other. So, which do you think is more important? Going to the Trip Trap or D and Dumb's office? I think uh, the Trip Trap is more important because that seems to have a time constraint on it. And the office, uh, I don't know. Hopefully, Bluebeard turns out to be good. About Lily's thing. Could, I think that's our best option. option. Okay. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> He's still trying to steal that bag full of shit. Oh my god, Jack. All right, anyway, next time we're going to go to the trip trap and try to talk to Holly about uh, Lily's belongings. And we cannot stop bothering these poor trolls, apparently. <sighs> They're going to make us into pie.